Little Miss Nyla is in here driving me crazy. Go. Mm -hmm. Nice. Alright you guys, I am going to finish doing this all around my hair. When I finish, my hair should be about 85 to 90 percent dry. And I'll show you guys how the final result is. Joanna, Jo, Jo, Joanna. Why you do me like Joanna? So many differences since last year. And my hair has grown in lock, in my locks quite a bit because you lose length, you know, when you put your hair in locks because they have to mat, tighten up, and everything. Especially whenever you're doing your retighten, you lose hair or lose inches, not hair, but inches. But my locks itself are starting to grow. Um, and if you guys refer back to my video when I first did my locks, you guys seen how my hair was. It was at, um, in the back, I think around like arm, uh, armpit length in the back and in the front, it was like kind of like around here somewhere. But again, here is how my hair is looking now at one year and I'm about to go ahead, shower, and then I'll be back to show you guys um, my hair then as it's washed. I definitely told you guys that um, I'm not at my one year with my hair locked. Um, and I was showing you guys like kind of like how it looked prior to me washing my hair. It's been about a month since me washing my hair. I already did hop in a shower and wash my hair. I used two shampoos actually, and a conditioner. I use this tea gel therapeutic shampoo, extra strength um, shampoo, and I use this Cantu Shea Butter for Natural Hair. I actually mix them together and I use both of those to shampoo. Um, and I use this to condition my hair for about three to five minutes while I wash, which is the um, Curl's Daughter, Cow's Daughter Almond Milk Restoring Conditioner. So I use that to condition and then the other two to shampoo. Put those back. Um, so yeah, and then when I, what I use to moisturize my hair and then seal it is two, um, two things. One, I use this, um, Bella Curls. I think you guys seen this inside, like a, if you guys looked at previous videos where I use on oh, my daughter today, I use this Bella Curls. Um, this is a coconut, um, coconut cream, curl defining, um, cream. And I use that to put moisturize on my hair. And then I use this shine and um, Shine and Co. This is actually my little sister's sister's um, hair company, and it's a little oil, so I use that on my hair. Uh, I got out the shower, and sorry, guys. Yeah, so I used it after I got out the shower on my hair. So I have a moisturizer, and obviously I already washed my hair, so I have water as a moisturizer. I have this cream as a moisturizer, and then I sealed it with the oil and this is how my hair is looking so typically when i got the shower my hair is really really curly um this is my hair up here so what i typically do because if i let my hair air dry because i still have a lot of curls to my um my hair because it's not fully locked it the curls kind of shrink in so to stop my hair from doing that um and to just keep the curls on the end of my hair and to stretch my hair I do um, dry my hair halfway and how I do that and that's also helping me stretch my hair so how I do that is actually as you guys can see I've already done quite a bit of it so I do apologize but all I do is I take my blow dryer and I take sections I pull I blow dry the sections I do not blow dry but I don't stretch the ends um, I just blow dry until I feel that it's dried enough then I let it go and then I blow dry through my hair so that I'm not stretching the curls. I'm just trying to dry the curls as much as possible. My hair is still damp, but I will let it air dry the rest of the way long as I was able to stretch it. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of um, that technique now. 
So again, this is the hair pair that I haven't done. And I don't touch my edges just because um, I have cut a lot. If you guys look at previous videos from um, me locking my hair, I did have some heat damage in the front of my hair. I have already um, cut a lot of that off. Um, I do still have some strings, so I don't go to my edges and pull them because the, the one, my um, hair in the front is already a looser curl pattern than the back of my hair. So I don't want that to be stringy. Um, so I just leave the edges alone, but I do do the rest. But what I do is take this. I take a section. I just part it down. Um, and you would do this in the section in the way that you want your hair parted when you're um, when once it's styled. Put that back up, and obviously this is the section I have out. And I'm just going to take little small handfuls. I'm going to stretch it all the way to the end, trying not to get the curls at the end. stretching my roots and my hair is still about I would say about 90% dry my ends um my ends are actually pretty dry so maybe about 95% dry my hair is right now um after using the blow dryer I'm going to let it air dry the rest of the way um I do want to put a little bit more shining coat um oil on there um, I don't know if you guys Pay attention to any of my previous videos, but I am trying to keep my ends curly throughout my lock journey. Um, your ends do tend to um lock, so I do have a method of um of keeping my ends curly. Well, right now I don't really have to do much to them, but I feel like once my hair starts to lock more, um, since it's been after a year, I am going to have to start. Whenever I retwist my hair, I am going to have to um, comb out my ends just to make sure that they don't lock up and that they stay curled. So, here we are. And, yeah. Give me a second. Okay, guys. So, here is the final results. Here is the front of my hair, the side the back and the other side. This is typically what I do on a normal wash day whenever I am needing to um, wash my hair, or wash my locks and refresh them um, just to make them look new again. If I'm not doing a um, braid or something like that, then I'm just doing a simple wash and go on my locks. And this is typically the steps. Now, if you guys want a more detailed um, video on how I actually do my regular wash, it's like actually a, you know, show you guys me in a shower with, you know, clothes on. In the shower, wash my hair from start to finish. When I finish with the blow dryer and putting the oil on, let me know in the comments. But again, this is typically the end results of that. So you guys, it was great um, being able to do another video for you guys. I am going to be giving you guys a detailed video on my one year lock journey, um, how I've been, how I felt, everything like that. And um, yeah, stay tuned for that. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Last night I did my hair. 
um and that was supposed to be the last clip but i decided to come back this morning um after i had got up washed my face and everything like that you know brush my teeth all that good stuff and show you guys how my hair look um on day two i don't know if this is really considered day two since i did do my hair last night my hair is completely dried i just, I don't know if you guys can tell but my hair is 100% dry now at this point and here's how it's looking I could go in with the blow dry and actually stretch it somewhere but I'm not going to do that because as the days go along my hair will stretch out um putting it in ponytail doing different styles it will stretch out on its own um so unless I actually wanted to stretch out like if I'm going on going somewhere for an occasion or something like that I'm not going to do that but yes here's how my hair is looking I'm going to give you guys a little 360. So as you guys can see, um, the ends are still very much curly. Um, yeah, the ends are actually very curly. Since my hair is not fully locked, um, I don't know even if my hair does fully lock, if my ends will um, decide to completely dread up on their own. But again, I'm gonna be combing out my ends anyway to make sure that I still keep the curls on my ends um, from my natural curl pattern. But yeah, this is what my hair is looking like after one year of being locked so i'll see you guys in the next video and you know um, leave comments below let me know what you guys think if you have any questions for me um and i'll be sure to answer them so you guys see you guys next time bye, -bye.